It's time for another Dice Tower Review with Z Garcia. Hey folks, today I'm going to be taking a look at a simple push your luck and bluffing card game called Yak. Yak here is a game not unlike Liar's Dice in which you are going to be playing a card and saying something and uh, maybe people will believe you, maybe they won't. Do you believe the person right before you? Therein lies the game. Let me show you how it works, then I'll tell you what I think of it. At the beginning of the game, every player is going to be given five cards from the deck, and then you put the deck in the middle of the table. The objective of the game is to have the fewest of these cards once they run out. And you're going to be collecting cards throughout the game. If you have the fewest at the end of the game, you are the winner. And these cards have animals on them, as you can see here. So you're going to have yaks and ibex, and uh, these, this is a wild card. Yaks, ibex, vultures, groundhogs, and yetis. Ibex, and there's a vulture, and the yeti is actually just uh, that, because he's elusive. No one's ever seen him. And so the way it works is on your turn, you are going to... At the beginning of each round, make a declaration and play a card face down on the table. There's a couple of special cards. I'll get to these in a minute, okay? But basically, I can play any one card face down in a pile and say a type of animal. And so this is that you're pushing a threshold. The next player in turn is going to either make a new declaration or they are going to challenge your declaration. When you start the round, you have to say one. And so I'm going to say one groundhog. And the next player is going to say, fine, two groundhogs. The next player could challenge or push it, and they're going to say, four groundhogs. And the next player goes, fine, five groundhogs. And uh, each of these players, by the way, should have been drawing after you play. You always play and draw, or challenge. And so this uh, player is now going to challenge. It was five groundhogs. I'm going to say, whoop, no way. And we check it. Each uh, card tells you how many of that kind it represents. This is a wild card, it's every animal. And so he said five groundhogs, two, four, six, they're correct, I'm wrong. So I'm stuck with the cards. I put them face down somewhere. They score against me towards the end of the game. And uh, then a new round is, is started by again doing, you know, one, one yak. And this player would then look and go, hmm two yaks, and so on, okay? The special cards are the wild is wild, as you were told already, and um, then the other three kinds of special cards are here. This card means that every card in the pile counts as just one. So ignore the number, everything's one. This card makes every animal type in the deck whatever the declaration was. So it's sort of like turning everything wild, right? So if this is the declaration, if this is the pile and the declaration was um, uh, seven uh, vultures, then everything's a vulture. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, okay? With this card. And then lastly, this card, if there is an odd number of these special ones, it cancels everything special. And so you just go back to the cards. The wilds are still wild, but everything else is canceled. All, all of these, everything's a one, everything's wild. That, an odd number of these are out. You keep doing that until you run out the deck, and then whoever has the fewest cards is the winner. Liar's Dice is one of my favorite games ever, really, and as I said at the beginning, Yak is a lot like Liar's Dice. I was hoping and thinking that I might really, really like this one. Unfortunately, I was pretty underwhelmed by it. There's a few design choices that just, um, I guess, just didn't create excitement for me. I think the, the range on the cards, one, two, or three, eh, it doesn't, you know, typically it's hard to challenge because if two people play threes back to back of the same animal, for example, they probably go bid one, bid two. I mean, you could, you could have gone all the way up to six. And so most people don't push that number high enough. Um, 
It's very easy to come under. In Liar's Dice or games of that ilk, you have 20, 25 dice to play with, whatever the case may be. The closer you get to the number, the closer you are to being wrong. In this one, since you continue playing cards, you could keep going for a long time and still be the person who's saying there are at least 17 yaks. You could be right. Of course, the special cards come in there and mess with that, but they were not distinct enough and they were not um, fun enough, the three kinds of cards. One, for one thing, cancels the other two, so right there, that one's nothing, technically. And then the other two are okay. But making every card wild, there's already wild cards in there. That's, that's, that, that takes care of that. That could have been more interesting as, a, as another effect. And so I wasn't really feeling it. I um, I like the artwork. I like the construction of the game. The cards are superbly made. Artwork's cool, but the game play itself, I was hoping would be more engaging, and simply wasn't. I like the style of game. There's a few games that I uh, that I think are just you know very similar to this, but better. For example, this game Mamoos that I did a review of some time ago does something similar to this, but better. There's, of course, the classic uh, Cockroach Poker here. This one's Royal, but Cockroach Poker does something similar also to this one. Both of those games are better than this. And so, unfortunately, I would give this one a pass. If you like this style of game, check out one of those two. Try Liar's Dice. Try something else. But Yak, I found somewhat overwhelming. Unfortunately, I was really hoping this would be better. But as it stands right now, this is eh, so I would give it a pass. Yak. Thanks so much for watching the Dice Tower videos. Find more great videos and reviews, as well as our top rated audio podcast at dicetower.com. You can also find other great shows at dicetowernetwork.com. I'm Eric Summerer, and you've been watching the Dice Tower. The Dice Tower is sponsored by Cool Stuff Inc., where you can find great games for great prices. Cool stuff in stock. Check them out at coolstuffinc.com.